John Bow and the X Hand Stook Formula One March 741 and the Formula 5000 Chevron of Tom Tweedy failed to race on Sunday after they were ruled in breach of the circuit's strict 95 decibel noise limit. Bow, whose appearance in the classic Formula One car was to be a highlight of the meeting, was clearly angry at the ruling, although he was quick to point out that the blame wasn't with the meeting officials. I, I have to say here, it's not the organisers' fault, it's not the VHAR's fault. It's, uh, I think, the EPA, the environmentalists or somebody, but it really annoys me and it annoys a lot of people because they come to see it. It's an it's a unusual little car from the 70s. It's a Formula One car driven by Hans Stuck, who's quite a famous German driver. And it's nice, you know, so it's disappointing. I don't g kind of get why Phillip Island is a track's been here 50 years and the fuss is made by the minority that built here long after the circuit was made. It's a bit like Sandown. Sandown's the same. It's the minority that make all the squealing and the, and the majority pay the price, so I don't get it. Bow called on Cams to address the issue, which also reared its head at the Kerrick Sports Dan Series race held at the track late last year. Well, it's easy to be a Cams basher. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, Cams are the governing body and many, many years ago, someone sold out to the EPA and sold out to the environmentalists. This happened a long time ago. It's just become more thoroughly policed because it was allowed to happen all, all that time ago. So I think, yes, Cams should have a representative that goes and fights for our cause. We pay their fees, the circuits pay their charges. You know, I think it's, it's, it would have to come from Cams, not from people like me talking to you. So I think it needs fixing. Tom Tweedy, who had won both races on Saturday, was more bewildered than angry at the decision, telling in pit lane that his car was running exactly the same setup that was deemed perfectly legal at the Sandown V8 round, the historic Sandown and Eastern Creek. With both Tweedy and Bow out of contention, local driver Paul Zazrin and New Zealand's Russell Greer defended the honour of the Formula 5000s against the smaller brigade, led by Simon Gardner in the Formula 2 Chevron B42, and the Rolt RT21 Formula Holden of Lucio Cesario. In a tight battle where the top four cars were seldom ever more than just a few seconds apart, Zazrin won the feature race, edging out Greer and Gardner for the biggest race win of his short Formula 5000 career. In the Big Banger sports car feature, it was the single-seat Can-Am Rolt of Jamie Lana that led the way, ahead of Jay Bodini's 3.5-litre Argo Cosworth and the McLaren M1B of Laurie Bennett. The meeting was another great success, and although numbers were down slightly on last year, it was still another world-class turnout. And a reminder that In Pit Lane will have more stories from the meeting in our special Anzac Day Eve edition on April 24th, at the new time of 10pm.